Hello, Beautubulins. It looks like spring is in the air. Well, at least they're on the board. That there is a springs off my Herald. I have a set of springs and stuff that come off the Spitfire stuff that I put the uh, brake front end I put on that. But uh, I was afraid it wouldn't. Spitfires kind of lay a little bit low and I wanted my car to sit up high and, and look right. Them little old low cars just kind of look wore out to me. But I put all this Goober Jackie on here and tightened it up, some of them, and some of them I left loose until I get my uh, measuring stick out. But I hope I got enough stuff on here now that I can just stick the engine in there and the engine won't get in the way. And uh, once my shocks get here I will put them together and uh, that will be a happy thing got everything the things I had painted the other day in the rain looked real cloudy when it dried so I had to strip them and recoat them and do everything else again today uh, put a bunch of new bolts and stuff as all of my could in here I just hate cleaning old bolts so I try to put new stuff when I can and uh, gee, I guess that's it. This is took me all day just to do that, but it was a good day, and uh, it has to happen. Here's the wheels and tires off the Spitfire. Now, it always kind of drove a little squirrely, and I thought it was me being squirrely, which I am. But it looks to me like the tire is too big for the rim. And some of these rascals, the early Spitfires, oh, don't even look look at the muddy Spitfire, have got real nary rims. Why? I don't know. This is a real nary rim. This is a, a Herald rim. But Spitfires are supposed to have pretty nary rims too. Uh, come out here. Now see what that did. Now if I let this go, it won't, how am I going to hang on? There. Hot dog. Hang on now. Just like I was back in the circus. Well, now it's way too out there. Whew. Anyway, the tar is about three and a half where the rubber goes. And it's supposed to have a real narrow tire on it. And uh, this wheel kind of measures that way when you go this way and measure it. It it looks to me like it's got just a maybe a hair over three inch or three and a half. But it sure looks all bubbled out there. That may be why it's wallering out on the when you put it in the curve it kind of walks sideways a little bit. Which adds to the fun I guess. But that was a yeah, I didn't do it. That was a stroke of genius me putting the Spitfire wheels on this rascal so I wouldn't have to buy wheels and rims. And uh, I may not be able to do that now because I want the Herald to drive good and not Waller. So, hmm. I may be back to, to uh, the end of the world. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's do it this way. Uh, while I was buffing parts a few minutes ago, it reminded me of something something not to do. Uh, if you got a grinding rock on your your grinder, oddly enough, and you're cutting or or, or grinding aluminum in it. Well that aluminum stuff gets hot and it gets impregnated into the pores of the rock and it stays in there until you try to grind out something with a higher melting point like steel. When you get your steel on the rock with the aluminum parts in it, the steel will heat that stuff up and it'll blow your rock up. 
and people's told me that for once. And that's one of the stupid things I've never had to do, I've never done, because somebody told me that before I did it. Actually, I think I was putting aluminum, grinding aluminum, and they said, throw that rock away. Anyway, uh, and don't forget to dress your rocks. And cut the crown off your your uh, chisels. Maybe i got one to show you since I haven't cut the crown off nothing in a while. It's <laughs> a mouse. Uh. Here's a crown. See that bent old beat over part? You just knob that off of there. Where it's straight, or at least a little bit in. And that way, these are just projectiles right to pop off and get in you. Oh my gosh, who, who bent? Oh, I guess, I guess I don't know. Must have been the varmints. Well, anyway, uh, I think that's all I was going to tell you. Oh, I, I may show you something stupid here. Whoa, hey, whoa! What the heck was that? They'll find out in a minute. Uh, okay, tool. Seal puller, right? Yeah, that's a seal puller. I was going to guess that. Doggone it. Okay. Uh... Okay. Ta-da! Okay, guess what this is? It's homemade, but it still has the use you can figure it out. What a nee -nee -nee -nee. Has nothing to do with circumcised monkeys. Well, though I wish it did. I don't like monkeys. Huh. Okay. I guess I'll say goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. And I uh, love you. And uh, just be careful. Hey, we had a dry day today. By golly, John Kerry is doing his magic. Won't see much of him now. He's all tightened up on that big heavy Jaguar. I would be too. I'd be out there driving around and spinning mud and tires on that Jaguar. Well, maybe he won't. Okay. I love y'all. And y'all have fun. Not too much.